guys, welcome to another episode of Moving to Maryland. Today we're going to talk about Middle River. I'm here with Josh and Nick. Hey guys. Hello. Hey, how's it going? So I have a great memory of Middle River. I took my fir first flight lesson at Martin State Airport. And I remember, uh, you know, I was taxiing out to the runway. And then I was like looking at the instructor and, and I was like trying to look at his eyes and see if he was ready to die. <laughs> And I, 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 cause I did I was scared to death of flying. I'd forgotten how, how scared I was of flying. And, um, I was like, Hey man, how many hours do you have? He's like, he was like 6,000 hours. And I was like, man, that's a lot of hours. He might be due for a crash. Might not make it to 6,001, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but I love Middle River. It's such a great place. What I was going to say is like when we, so we took off and flew around and it's beautiful from the sky, like overlooking uh, Middle River, there's uh, just so much uh, waterfront and so many cool places. How was it growing up there, Josh? It was great. Uh, so Middle River is kind of a more quiet community. Um, it's it's much like Dundalk, but not as much water access, but it still has its water access points. It is bordered by Essex, Rosedale, and uh, Boys Quarters. Yeah, and then you can get get to it pretty easy from the highways. Yeah, I mean, it's right off 95, which is great. And it gives you a lot of access to a lot of other places. So if you need to go to like White Marsh or even downtown or even farther north up to like the Aberdeen area, it's, you know, 95 is right there and 695. Uh, so it's a really, really great accessible neighborhood for anybody driving in and out. It's it's fun with the, uh, you know, there's a squadron of A-10s that, that are at Martin State Airport, the uh, Air National Guard. Mm -hmm. So you see some pretty cool military planes coming in and out. Uh, when the Blue Angels are in town, it's a, a staging area that they take off and land from. Uh, so it's really, when you're in that area, you'll see some military air, aircraft and helicopters and stuff like that. But um, actually, well, you know, I think my first uh, memory of Middle River was going to, it was actually around 1995, going to Benji's Drive-In Movie Theater. Mm -hmm. You ever been there? Yep, yep. Uh, Benji's is actually a great place. I've been there a few times. Um, you drive in, you know, you set the radio. It's, I think it's the only one left on the East Coast. If yeah. I'm not mistaken. Reminds me of the movie Grease, you know, yeah. going to those, movie, <laughs> those driving movies. Like it's like a great first date spot when you're in high school. You know, you like, you want to not take her somewhere nice like Chili's and then, or Applebee's, which is classy establishments, but you say, Hey, let's go, let's go catch a drive in and, you know, and see an, and see a movie. So it's a, it's an awesome spot. You know? It's like not happy just, days. So you don't like, you wouldn't take them over to watch the submarine races. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I haven't seen. Well, you've never seen Happy Days back in the day. All I remember is uh, you get it. You can't see submarine races, so they go park, you know, to watch submarine races. But submarines are underwater, so we were born in the '90s. So yeah. you wait to see who comes up on the other side. <laughs> That's how you know. All no, I remember was, uh, jumping the shark. That's all I remember. Happy yeah, days. yeah, yeah. This episode might have just jumped the shark. I, I'm not. <laughs> well, we're rocking and rolling. I say we keep. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, so uh, Middle River, what are some of the fun spots in Middle River? Somebody's thinking about moving to Middle River. Obviously, like it's a boating community and there's marinas and stuff like that and, and marina slash water uh, restaurants. Mm -hmm. What are some of your uh, fun spots uh, about so, Middle River? So much like Dundalk, it does have a lot of Bayside access restaurants. Um, so you can always pull your boat up, go in for a good bite. Um, one that comes to mind is Carson's Creek. Mm. Um, you got Sunset Cove. I've been to Sunset Cove. And actually that overlooks <laughs> the airport. Yeah, very nice spot. Um, you got sand, um, and then you have bullies on the on the bay, mm -hmm. which is a very nice spot as well. Yeah, and not to mention that, but you have also you know all of the major shopping and you know more chain places as well. And it's like I said, super easy to get to. So if, if you want to go to places like Essex that have a lot of great restaurant options as well, I mean it's really it's really nice to get to and really easy to get to as well. Yeah, it's <laughs> certainly on the map if you're a boater and you're coming over that whole dundalk uh middle river essex there's you, you know you can stop in dundalk uh, hard yacht cafe some other spots over there work your way up all the way up you know all the way up into hartford county mm -hmm. if you want depends on how many jello shots you want <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true that's very true what's your limit 12. yeah i'd say probably depends on what else i'm supplementing it with but you know <laughs> Nice. So, um, what about? I mean, there are some parks in uh, Middle River, in there. 
Uh, there's actually a really nice park, uh, Eastern Regional Center. This is where a park I grew up going to playing soccer. They have a really nice turf field. They have a few other, um, you know, ground fields. But uh, there, another, another park would be uh, Wilson Point Park. And this is just a, l- a little more smaller park, but, you know, it has bay access as well. So Middle River has some popular neighborhoods. And you, you hear about Bullies Quarter quite a bit, almost to the point where you might have think of that as like a city in itself, right? But what are some of the other areas in Middle River that, that, that stand out for you? Um, so you are, so Bullies Quarters would be a little bit north, uh, right before you get to Oliver Beach. You have... Uh, um, you have Essex to the west and then Rosedale to the north. Right. Yeah. And there's, you know, great options for anybody what you're looking for. I mean, if you want waterfront housing, there's plenty there. If you want something that's a little bit more suburban neighborhood oriented, there's there's tons of options for people who want to move there, depending on, you know, the lifestyle that you're looking for. And uh, so you went to school in that area. I did. Yep. What were your SATs? Did SAT. you turn out OK? Yep. The highest they could be, possibly. <laughs> Twenty four hundred. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you know, Baltimore County school systems uh, have a have a pretty decent reputation. So, yeah, they do have a good they have, do have a great public school system there, which is nice. Most uh, most people I know from that area turned out okay. So yeah, it was very easy going there. Uh, everyone's very cool. Oh, that's cool. That's yeah, that's pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, let's talk about real estate. I mean, there's obviously, there, there's a range in Middle River. Uh, certainly, you know, I, I'd spent a lot of time looking in Middle River. And, um, you know, you have smaller off water. You have, uh, you know, uh, waterfront that hasn't been touched. You have new, you know, places that have been torn down and new builds that are up, you know, close to a million. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, there's a lot. Like, like you said, if you want something that's more waterfront oriented, there's, you know, extremely affordable compared to, you know, going down south in like Anne Arundel County. So if you want something that's directly on the water, they're really nice and affordable. You have these older kind of Cape Cod style houses that were built in like the 30s in, in these really great residential neighborhoods that are still close enough to, you know, having water access um, that are great. And then you have, you know, other more affordable housing options as well in, in Middle River. Yeah, I know uh, quite a, I know a handful of families that lived in the city and had summer homes in whether it was Essex or, or uh, Middle River or Dundalk, actually. That's, that was kind of, they, they call it the shore. Mm-hmm. So there was, you know, 20 minutes away, they could get to the shore. And that's, that's nice instead of having to deal with, you know, Bay Bridge and beach traffic. You know, you'd be like, oh, I'm going to the shore and it's only like 20 minutes from your house. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, that was one of the things that we, we had thought about, my wife and I, um, instead of having a place down at the beach. But, uh, you know, we ended up going, you know, the beach made more sense for, for a lot of reasons for us. So um, what kind of house did you grow up in? Uh, I grew up in a semi-detached, um, but they had, but a lot of my friends grew up in uh, townhomes, uh, detached homes. There's a lot of newer construction as well. Sure, sure. Nice. Anything you guys think is important to share about Middle River? I mean, I haven't been there as much as Josh without, you know, he, him growing up there. But in all the times I've been there, I think it's a, it's a great community. You know, everybody really gets along. It's a great place to live. And not to mention just based off of the location. I mean, anything that you need is, is really, really close by. If you need to go to White Marsh or you need to go to Costco, you want to go into the city. I mean, it's, it's 20 minutes from everywhere. And I think that is a really good draw for a lot of people is being, you know, within a really short driving distance to anything they need. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, I, I think of it like uh, Glen Burnie and Pasadena, like Middle River and White Marsh. And, mm-hmm. you know, you have that, um, you know, uh, less crowded, uh, waterfront lifestyle. Some of the communities there, just very low traffic. And then if you want to get to the city, you're 20 minutes away. You want to go to some of the restaurants in the city. So you have all the amenities of the city, but you have that waterfront lifestyle just, just right, you know, 20 minutes away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Awesome. Well, uh, Josh, Nick and I are realtors. We're, the, we're with the Greatest Moves team. Uh, we have multiple locations throughout the state. We'd love to show you around that whole area, Essex, Middle River, Dundalk, Josh grew up there. Nick's been there quite a bit. Uh, I as well. I would love to help you out. Our information is in this post. Take care. We hope to see you next episode.